welcome back to the class in today's class we are going to start a new concept plant tissue culture in tamil nadu state board plus 2 syllabus and this comes as the first fifth chapter and the chapter name is plant tissue culture let us enter into the lesson and in the image you can able to see a scientist named as gottlieb haberlander he was the german botanist and he was the first person to initiate the process of uh, tissue culturing using the plant tissues uh, right so uh, he used the plant tissue uh, that is the lamium purpureum that was the name of the plant uh, and he used the plant tissue mesophyll layer mesophyll cells uh, that is the leaf cells of the lamium purpureum uh, and he performed the tissue culturing process and he got the success right so uh, approximately in the year 1902 so since he was the first person to initiate this uh, tissue culturing method he was celebrated as a, and he is celebrated as the father of plant tissue culture mr gottlieb haberland he was a german botanist let us see what does the plant tissue culture means see the definition growing the plant protoplast cells tissues or organs away from their natural environment under artificial condition and this is what we call it as plant tissue culture see we know what is meant by tissue tissue is nothing but the group of cells which are common in their function right so if you take a plant body the entire plant body has tissues uh. if you take leaf it has mesophyll tissue it has xylem tissue phloem tissue spongy parenchyma epidermal tissue so different types of tissues are present in leaf stem root everywhere right so the entire plant body contains tissue or you can able to you can also say all the organisms right all the multicellular organisms the body is made up of tissues right likewise uh, uh, the plants also has tissues so if you collect some plant part or some tissues uh, from the plant or some cells from plants or even the protoplast we know what is meant by protoplast protoplast or the living content of the cell that includes the cytoplasm and nucleus surrounded by the membrane that is the cellular membrane that is if in plant cell if you devoid if you remove the cell wall the remaining content all the remaining content inside the cell is what we call it as protoplast so growing the protoplast or cells or the tissues or even the organs if you take a leaf and you cut the leaf into small pieces and if you place the small piece of leaf in a nutrient medium then from that small leaf we can able to generate the entire plant and this is the uh, astonishing behavior of the plant cell this is unique only for the plant cells right and that is what plant tissue culture deals with right i once again repeat the definition growing the plant protoplast or cells or tissues or organs away from their natural environment under artificial condition see here the condition is given artificially we have to frame the entire setup we have to provide proper uh, temperature sufficient amount of light energy and proper photoperiodism right humidity everything everything is under control right so the optimum level has to be given to that uh, process then only it will give the proper result right and that is what uh, the plant tissue culture deals with uh. and if you want to perform this plant tissue culture the entire plant tissue culture is a highly sophisticated and highly complicated process and it will be carried out in a highly sterilized condition you can able to see uh, different types of uh, ptc labs all throughout the country and we can't able to easily enter into such labs right so it requires lot of processes and formalities right so speaking about the plant tissue culture it is carried out under heavily controlled environment inside the laboratory and moreover all the tissue culturing is carried out in either the glass tubes or glass vessels even conical flask petri dishes or test tubes whatever it may be so glass tubes are the most convenient test tubes or petri plates or even the conical flasks are the most convenient uh, dishes or the um, materials uh, uh, through which the plant tissue culture process is carried out uh, 
that is why it is also called as in vitro culturing in means uh, inside vitro means glass uh, in latin term vitro means glass so and we are culturing the tissues inside the glass material inside the glass vessel that is why uh, ptc can also be called as a in vitro culturing technique right yes so and this entire ptc process is based on four basis four different concepts are very very essential because of these four uh, abilities the plant tissue culture becomes a successful one without these four uh, abilities of plant cell we cannot able to perform the tissue culture and that is why we can't able to do the culturing process in animal cells because animal cells do not have all the animal cells do not have all these properties right so but all these four properties see the properties totipotency differentiation de differentiation and re differentiation all these are the four properties that is very much unique to plant tissues right totipotency is highly unique only for the plant cells right so all these four acts like four pillars and they support the tissue culturing process right so these are the four concepts totipotency differentiation and de differentiation and re differentiation these are the four bases or the four basic concepts of plant tissue culturing let us see one by one first is the totipotency see the definition totipotency right so it is the ability it is the genetic potentiality or the ability of any living plant cell right the plant cell may be uh, from any part of the plant but it should be a living one it should be alive you can take the plant cell from the leaf or from the root or from the stem right wherever you need or from the meristem or from the anther ovary so whatever the place we need we can able to get the plant cell but it should be a living one we can't take the plant cell from the bark because bark cells are dead cells right we can't able to uh, collect the cells from the tracheids because tracheids are the xylem tracheids are the dead cells right so if you want to perform the tissue culture we have to take the live plant cell right so totipotency means uh, the genetic potentiality of any live plant cell to develop into an entire plant or to give rise to a complete individual when it is grown under a suitable condition right that is what we call it as totipotency from a single plant cell we can able to develop a whole plant and this is the very base quality and moreover the unique quality of plant tissue culture the genetic potentiality of any live plant cell to give rise to a complete individual plant when cultured in the nutrient medium is what we call it as totipotency this is the first and foremost uh, very very important uh, criteria or very important uh, quality of any plant cell to carry out the plant tissue culture and the next ability is differentiation differentiation this we know the conversion or the change change over of uh, an undifferentiated cell into a specialized cell right so the process in which an undifferentiated cell right if you see the meristematic region new cells will be formed that cells are common in their nature right they are very common but as the time moves a lot of chemical changes and biological and structural changes will happen in those cells and finally those cells will get some of those cells will get converted into xylem and some will get converted into phloem and some will get converted into parenchyma sclerenchyma and so on and so forth right so all these process where an undifferentiated cell gets totally converted into a specialized form of cell is what we call it as differentiation right for example if you consider a student a group of students all were studying in a same school right till 10th they will have a common syllabus but once they switch over to higher secondary they will select different groups and now they get separated and each one will get specialized in different category one will be a 
medical student that is one will be a biology student one will be a commerce student one will be a computer science student and another one will be a vocational student like that they are getting differentiated now we can't have the same syllabus for all these four type of students right so that is how in plants uh, this undifferentiated cells get modified structurally biologically and chemically and finally they become highly specialized to perform specific function and this process is what we call it as differentiation and the third important concept of a ptc is dedifferentiation and this is very unique once a cell gets differentiated or become specialized it won't usually get reversed if you see all the permanent tissues in the plant is developing from the meristematic tissue so meristematic tissue undergoes differentiation and forms the permanent tissues right this is a one way path but at some places at some conditions these permanent tissues once again regains its capacity to become meristematic that is why even though if you cut a tree right if you cut a tree from the cut end of the tree new branches starts developing the tree, tree trunk is the permanent tissue but anyhow under that condition once again even though that is the uh, permanent tissue the permanent tissue gets once again meristematic nature and they restart producing the new cells and that ability of or the reversion of the mature permanent tissue once again into the meristematic tissue is what we call it as a dedifferentiation and this ability is highly utilized in the ptc technique right so we collect the plant tissue we collect a leaf tissue right and we place the leaf tissue leaf tissue is nothing but the highly differentiated because leaf tissue has a mesophyll epidermis spongy parenchyma xylem phloem all are differentiated cell and if you place that differentiated cells which are present in the leaf in a nutrient medium all those differentiated cells utilizing the medium they get once again converted into meristematic cells and start dividing and forms a mass of cells what we call it as callus right so here because of that specific condition because of that external force that permanent tissues once again regains the capacity of meristematic nature producing the callus and this is the very important feature of the plant tissue what is named as dedifferentiation reversion of mature tissue once back to meristematic tissue right the next final concept is redifferentiation now from the merist from the differentiated tissue see this is a, uh, this is a related one you can able to see this is the parenchyma which is a permanent tissue and this permanent tissue when it is grown in the nutrient medium undergoes dedifferentiation and form the callus callus is the one that is highly meristematic callus tissues are highly meristematic because they will be continuously dividing and from this callus once again the callus loses its ability to continuous division of continuous division and once again it is growing back to they are getting differentiated into normal cell right so this conversion of callus see this step this step is taking place inside the laboratory right all these steps are carried out in the lab but this is the most specific cell here the callus because of the influence of hormones and other chemicals once again gives rise to differentiated cells in the form of roots and shoot and this is how from the callus the entire plant parts are produced and this is the final step of the uh, ptc right so once the callus is formed from the normal permanent tissue the callus is formed and this is what we call it as dedifferentiation and from the callus we will be developing the root and the shoot root and shoot are the permanent tissues the root and shoot contain xylem and phloem they contain epidermis they contain ground tissue all are permanent tissue and these permanent tissue are formed from the undifferentiated callus and this conversion of callus once again to the permanent tissue is what we call it as redifferentiation right so all these four concepts are very very important for ptc 
right so all these four qualities or the four pillars that supports the ptc right okay okay children in today's class we have discussed about the concept of ptc we have discussed what is meant by ptc right we have discussed about uh, who is called as the father of plant tissue culture gottlieb haberland and also we have discussed about the basic concepts of ptc right hope this session will be a useful one let us meet in the next episode thank you